Hi everyone, we meet again. Once again, my name is Sandra and I work for the Boys and Girls Club of LA Harbor. Today we're here to celebrate Mother's Day. You're probably asking, what I'm going to do for my mother of your female figure, anyone, your grandmother, your uh, godmother, the, your neighbor, anyone, your older, your big sister, anyone that represents a female figure in your life. So let's begin. We're going to make a heart just with the use of your little hands. It's like a heart if it's only your hands. And then when you look on the back, it says what? I love you, mom. Now, what do you guys need? You need either a white paper or a color paper. Now, remember I keep saying to you guys, if you don't have a color paper, please, it doesn't mean that you cannot do your projects. Uh, actually, it gives you the opportunity to be more creative. You can all, always color your hand with crayons, with markers, with color pencils, and also watercolor. Mm -hmm. Then oh, you can just leave it white. This is up to you. But if you have access to color, to color, this is what you guys need. First of all, you need to pick one color that you like. I'm gonna pick this one. What you guys need is to fold the paper, how, mm -hmm. this is portrait, remember, Namaste. let's fold the portrait. Yeah, let's join one side to another evenly, right here, in the white, I already have tracing, mm -hmm. like this. Then how do you trace it? <clears throat> this. The, the, the part that is closed, it needs to be on your left hand side, okay? Now, I'm gonna move it like this so you can actually see, mm -hmm. because I want you guys to see it. But in reality, if I move it oh, to my, towards me, it will be on your left hand side, okay? It's so always to keep that, remember that, it's important. Mm -hmm. Now, you're gonna move it, like this again towards the other side and then you're gonna bring your little hand and place it you see again look mm -hmm. you see how I'm using my hand it's not it's not too close it's not too open like that then now we're going to use it in the yellow paper these two fingers this one and this one is to touch the end I'm going to use a pencil to trace like that you see but to get a nice heart shape we need to do something a little bit different this is, needs to be curvy because it's a heart then this is what we're gonna do we're gonna still follow our hand but we still need to make this more like a heart shape and the rest of them, we just need to follow our hand. Paper is still full, really quick. We're gonna cut it the best we can. Let's see if it, if it really looks like a heart. Oh, it does, you see? I, I like the heart part right here uh, that we added, but you don't have to. But if you do, the only thing that you need to do is to grab another color. Have you noticed we're using what? Lines. If this is a line that connect, starting here with your own uh, hand, and it ends right here. And once we, when we cut it, we create a shape. Remember that, that's one of the two elements of art. Then right here, how to get the perfect heart that fits here. We're just gonna place the red paper on the bottom. Trace inside. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we need this bigger. So we're just gonna go out. There you go. Where is our uh, blue stick? I think it's Sarai. If you don't know Sarai, she's the amazing person co-worker colleague that is doing the videos for us. If they're fun to look, it's because of her. I can do this. Here we go. Much better. See? 
you have your heart and then you just fold it in addition to make it look nice I have previously cut flowers for those that think that they don't know how to draw a flower I'm showing you how to draw step by step and you're probably saying but how do you get the perfect circle simple I use a coin you see uh, you can make it the circle can be different sizes then use different coins this can be the first step second third fourth and then the fifth here shows that when you want more parts of your flower you just need to divide more here we have four you you can divide in the middle uh -huh. and then you join them by loops like lines again lines circle we're talking again lines and shapes then now here we use different flowers and here I got my my center but you can you can actually see it already done in the sample here we go see and then inside you can write this you can write anything you like you can write a poem you can write the reason why you love your mother or the female figure that you're giving this and this is how it looks you see Okay, now the second one is this is a nice flower. Look, you see? Wow. But this one, we need white piece of paper. I color the whole entire white paper. I use crayons and markers. I want you to see it. I have the white paper already. This is the square. Most of you already know how to make the square out of the paper. But just in case, let's review really quick. How to get a square. How to make a square out of the rectangle. Then you're just gonna bring one corner to the other side. Again, even is when it's exactly touch the other side. This is being uneven. What you need to do is just to move it and get it like this. Okay? And then just cut it. See? Voila. Let's follow the steps. This one is already have I previously have folded. Then we need to fold it and make it look like a what is this shape? A triangle, okay? Even. Look, if you put attention, it's evenly fold. Then you're going to open it, and then you're going to fold it on the other side. Mm -hmm. Again, there you go. Two. And now you wanna open. You wanna fold it on the middle, and it's gonna look like what? Like another rectangle. You see, it's a square. Now you wanna fold your square in half. And it's like, it looks like a rectangle now. And then you're gonna do it again, and you're gonna fold it. There you go, you see? You need to go over. Okay, here, thanks to the Japanese, we can do amazing work with just folding paper. It's already fold, and we're gonna bring this right here in between together. And we're gonna flat this thing. Now it looks like a what? Like another triangle. Now we're going to fold this triangle again. And now we have another triangle. Now we're gonna hold this triangle in a funny way, like this. You see? You see where it's open? It goes up. Uh -huh. And this point part stays down. Keeping it like that, and just for the sake of this project, you don't have to use a black, uh, a sharp, okay? But you, you need to use actually a pencil. Then you're gonna make, to make this flower to look like this, you're gonna make a curvy line the best you can on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, you're gonna have more on this side extra. And then you're gonna use the scissors and cut it around. And let's see if it's true. Oh, voila! There's your flower. We need a smaller flower. We're gonna do it a little bit faster. This this time we need what half of the paper. How do we do all flower again? We cut. We bring one side to another. Then we need to cut it. Fold process again. again remember then we're just going to do the same bring all this these lines together flat it mm -hmm. 
Remember, you can always pause the video and watch me doing this again and again. And voila, right here. We're going to fold this. Mm -hmm. We need to leave. Then what I did, I fold this paper once. Portrait again. Voila, here is my leaf. Remember, pause the video, because if you notice, we need this extra to roll around the pencil. And then that is what I'm going to do here. Then you can always trace little vines that are inside. Now we're going to attach a flower. See again, we fold it. I recommend you to write whatever you like. Then I'm just going to attach for this. You need tape. Now the same thing, the leaf, this is what we're going to use. Okay, you're just going to roll it. How do you keep it close? I made this ladybug really quick. Take a clip and then just tape it on the back. You're just going to slice it in one side. This one is a little flower pot that says Feliz Dia de las Madres. This one is in the Spanish. What you guys need is half a paper. Once you have half of the paper, you're going to fold the half of the paper. And then this part that is folded is going to face that way. And the one that is open is going to face you. Mm -hmm. Now here, and now we're going to fold half an inch inside. Okay, how do you know half an inch? Well, I always try to use my fingers because I'm not always using a ruler. Now right here, again, one inch inside. Yeah, you see? Then this one should be a little bit, not too, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And this one too. Grab another piece of paper, a marker. Yeah, you got it? Uh-huh. Here you go. Now let's cut it out. Here you go. You need a hole puncher or something to make a hole. How to make the flowers? We need three of these. To make a raindrop, always think how a raindrop looks. I fold my paper and I fold it again and I fold it again and then I hold, I'm gonna hold it tight. How many pieces I need? Three. Then now we're gonna put one flower together. You're gonna fold two of these parts halfway. I'm gonna use glue stick. Um, you can paint the stem any color you like. I went uh, and I used the green. Construction paper, I cut it a little bit, a uh, strip. To make it stronger, I glue another one. To make it a little bit more steady, more stronger. Then after that, uh, I grab a white piece of paper. And it happens that I have these funny looking scissors. Before I cut in it, I'm gonna do my best to draw a heart. Another way how you can do this, let me show you. You fold the paper and then you just do half of the heart. And then what's gonna happen is when you cut it, you should end up with a heart. If you have access to a design scissors, if you don't, then again, you can find it on this discount store. So if you have it, use them. If you don't, believe me, it's not biggie. Okay, still looks beautiful. In this case, I had opportunity. Then I, I, you can write, I love you, mom, anything in any other languages back here. And then I, another one for this little rectangle is a, a thick paper, cardstock, or any art paper. Go ahead and do it. First, I do it like this, and because the flower pot is not that big, then we don't need a lot. But if you notice, I kept folding the paper, it's still big. But this last one, this is what I'm gonna do. the glue stick, I glue it right here, and I rotate. 
Feliz Dia de las Madres, which is Happy Mother's Day in English. And then here to tie it, remember the two holes that we made earlier? Okay, I use this um, lace. If you don't have this, you can also have like a yarn, other, other materials that can you use it as a tie your flower pack. Then you just put it through the hole. Be sure that this is long enough because you're gonna tie this. Grab something long, not too small. And then you just tie it. There you go. That's it for today, for this week. Please have fun and um, tell your mom, your female, female figure um, that you most adore uh, how much you love them, how much you care about them. Be good, do something good, behave, and enjoy uh, Enjoy doing this, okay? Then until then, I will see you all next week. But before we leave, uh, please subscribe, subscribe to our channel. Um, send me your emails. I want to see your projects. Uh, also, if you are interested on, on doing uh, other things, uh, I would like to know what you think about what we're doing and how we're doing. Okay, then take care, love each other, and remember, uh, keep your distance um, and be safe. Okay, until next time, bye-bye.